they always say the third time is the best time so let's see if that's true look at dusty in his glory Woo! she looked good boy she looked really good so in today's video you guys I'm gonna be trying to install my rear camera arms once again, bro. This will be my third time trying to install these bad boys. Um, every try, every time I try to install them, it's always, I believe, this side or the driver. I think it's actually no, it's this side. It's always this side, the passenger side, that gives me a pain to put it back on. Taking them, taking them off is really, really simple, really, really easy. Putting them back on is also very, very simple and very easy. It's just, I think one of my, like, I don't know, something's wrong with the boat or something's wrong with the, I don't know, bro, the threading, but it's super, super hard to thread back in, but it, it's going in, but like, I can't explain it, bro. It gets super, super tough and I couldn't do it. I, I, I gave up like three times or well, two times in a row. So this third time, I feel like I'd be able to do it because I do have power tools. I'm going to grease up that, that hole as, as much as I can and hopefully it slides up in there real easy whoa that sounds so that sounds so wrong bro that sounds so wrong all right guys so what i'm gonna be doing go to home depot to get another nut because i don't feel safe just running just one nut on this i see a lot of kids come with two or three so i'm gonna i'm gonna go pick up an extra one uh hopefully home depot has it because if it don't uh i don't know what i'm gonna do but yeah um gonna go get an extra nut hopefully i can find one that fits this and we should be okay because i want something to lock this down i don't want it to be set on one nut to lock it down i want at least two in case one nut gets loose even though it's gonna be uh into the wheel hub or whatever it's called and it's not gonna move i i, I just feel safe doing with two so i'm gonna get another one just in case the next morning all right guys so it's been a couple days i do have the camera arms right here I also did find the boat that, well, the nut that I was looking for. It's uh, the top piece. The reason why I was looking for a nut was to actually have a locking nut, because uh, I don't really trust this aluminum nut just to hold this down for, you know, however long I have these uh, camera arms on the car. So I went to, where I go? Ace, is a, I went to Ace Hardware, Ace Hardware to go get this nut. And uh, I bought two, because I need, you know, two, because I got two camera arms. And there was like a dollar ninety nine or a dollar a dollar twenty not something like that. And yeah, man, found the right size, right the right pitch thread. So we should be a okay. I don't have the fear of my thing just getting loose out of nowhere. As you guys can see, that locks pretty good. And it's still not aluminum, so it's not gonna strip. So yeah, man. Um, now this is the part where we try to put it on the car, and it takes me like. 30 minutes I, I, I'm lying it is not gonna take me 30 minutes um it hopefully doesn't take as long as I think it's gonna take me because a couple times I did it the last two times I couldn't even get the camera arms on um the boat kept getting like seized or it just took a lot of cranking force that I didn't have so I just stopped doing it now I got power tools so it should be a little bit easier I have grease I have um everything that should make this install a little bit simpler so let's hope for the best and then just get it done, let's get it. Guys, so cars up in the air. This is probably gonna be the quickest install. 
I'm, I'm gonna keep saying that because you know they say if you say it out loud it happens so I'm gonna keep saying that this is gonna be the quickest install um what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to remove these two bolts or well, these three bolts come on focus so this bolt right here is a 14 and those two right there we're gonna see if I could show you guys those two right there come on focus on it yeah those two right there are 14s as well have fun trying to get this one because I heard this one's a pain in the butt and I experienced it but I don't remember how bad it was because sometimes it's really simple um I think what I did was I like pushed the exhaust out the way and I was able to slip on the socket to crack it loose but uh yeah it should be pretty simple should be pretty quick this side is the hardest side the driver side is pretty easy so yeah let's see how fast I can do it Alright guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me and see exactly what I'm doing because I did not check the GoPro to see if I'm aiming at the, the right spot, bro. But yeah, I got the 14, the 14, I got the 14 uh, bolt loose. Um, as you guys can see, I used this <laughs> abomination of a tool and uh, it worked, bro, it worked. So yeah, um, I just need to get a big old extension because doing this is not the way. This looks super ghetto, bro. But hey, it works, so... If it work, it work. So uh I'm gonna crack this one loose too. Uh but first let me see what I wanna use. Probably could use this. See if I use this 14. Ah, too big, too big. Okay, uh where's that wrench? Okay, so we got it going on. So that cracked a little bit. Let's see if I can use a wrench to only loosen it. that wrench thing people be doing i don't know how to do it uh, i need to learn some new tricks so if you guys could leave some tricks down below please please all right boom there goes one camera arm Whew. that was a pain in the butt well actually it wasn't but kind of was so those are loose i mean those are out keep those bolts over there and now let's go to the camera arm Go to the camera arm. So as you guys can see, the bushings are in. Well, these bushings are in. Now I have to center and everything. So, all right. So, pretty sure you guys can see. If not, then <laughs> I just have this camera on just in case. All right. So what I was saying was, um, you have to put these washers on. And as you can see, I have to push this out a little bit more because. You're gonna have to put a snap ring over, which goes in this little seal right here. This little seal. And that's gonna hold in this washer. But as you guys can see on mine, I have more space on this side than this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it down and see if I can slide it a little bit more. I'm gonna use a little bit more force. <clears throat> oh no, not the glove. All right, that's too much now. Let's see. they fit all right so to put the snap rings on you're gonna have to get a snap ring tool 
So this is one from Harbor Freight. It literally costs like five dollars, and uh, you're gonna use it to open it. So I have it on wrong right now. So five minutes later. All right, guys. So boom, got it on. It was a pain in the butt. These five. Oh, well, I don't know if the five dollar tool suck or maybe I just got a defective one because mine is bent like right here. So every time I try to like push it down, it just pops up like, oh, like that. So yeah, that sucks. But uh, got both of them on. Pretty simple process. Uh, you put the washer first, then you put the snap ring. And that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to measure my stock arms to see like the length of it. And then just put everything back. And after that, I'm just going to do it to the next side. The next side should be cake because the passenger side has the most space. This is the difficult side. So, I mean, the driver's side has the most space. The passenger side has no space, so hopefully I could get zero degree camber when I go get an alignment because I I don't want no camera anymore. I don't want this thing to be, well, maybe I could run a little, tiny little camera just so that it doesn't rub, but yeah, I, I don't want no camera. I have like negative 2.5 camera right now, and that's stock when you lower your car, so I try, I try to get to at least like... 0 0.7 0 0.8 something like that something less than one but also something that's not gonna rub so let's get that going bro look what happened to my tripod you guys can't see it because of the sun but bro look what happened to it bro bro <sighs> just for one dollar a day you can save me you can save me a tripod please please go call something from <laughs> zuvigarage.bigcartel.com I can buy a new tripod with somebody buying one shirt. So please, please, somebody, please. Boy, if you don't. All right, guys, so I put the wheel back on just to see how the car will look. And it looks freaking fire. Like, it looks really dang good. I probably do have a little uh, poke, but I don't know. I might add a slight camber just to like fix that, but I like how aggressive it looks. But, um,. Like it looks super good, but we are running into a problem. Um, I don't know if these camera arms are for my car. They said they was for my car when my girlfriend bought them. She bought them for, bought them for my birthday or for Christmas. Uh, I don't like how loose, like I don't like how loose the camera arm is on the buckle on the on the, the hub, whatever it's called. Like you can move the camera arm left and right. And in my head, that's that doesn't seem like it's something that should be happening. So we're gonna hold off on the camera, camera install. Sadly, you guys, this is my third time trying to put these things on. Um, I'm gonna have to find some thick washers or I don't know, bro, it sucks. Um, I need to find washers that's literally this size. The ones that go on the camera arms so I could slide it exactly where like the loose play is. If I could do that, if I could find those uh, those washers, that size that could slide right there, then I could obviously like, you know, reinstall the camera arms. But I, I don't feel safe. Like, I'm gonna show you guys real quick, cause I don't like that, that don't feel safe to me. So. So this is what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys in the comments when I post this video, you guys could tell me because I'm definitely gonna post it. Um, you guys see that? That right there, I don't like. Like I want to put a washer so I could just make sure it's tight. Cause that, that's not good. And this is all the way, all the way in. Like I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more to see if this flexes. Well, I'm. <laughs> I'm guaranteeing, guaranteeing. I I guarantee you that it doesn't flex. But yeah, this little play right here, that little gap over there, I, I don't like that, bro. That seems a little iffy to me. All right, guys. So yeah, um, I tried to tighten it. It doesn't flex. I don't even know why I thought it was gonna flex. I'm just like wishing it did. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put back the stock camera arms. <sighs> Sadly, bro, it looks so good with zero degrees. Oh my goodness, it looks so damn good. 
I just probably have to roll this. But bro, I, I'm gonna figure this out. Trust me, I'm gonna figure this out. But yo, it looks really damn good. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put back the stock camera arm, sadly. Uh, I'm gonna go to the front of my car because I am hearing a clicking noise. I think it's my end link on my driver's side because um, I, I, I don't think I tightened it all the way when I you know reinstalled the clutch and all that stuff, the transmission and the subframe. So I'm gonna do that, check that out. Also, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna check for a leak on my exhaust. Like, I have a bad leak. I don't know where it's coming from, but it sounds terrible when I drive. Like, you guys probably heard it in the last video, the breaking in your clutch. It sounded terrible. But if I can't find it, I'm just gonna take this to the exhaust shop. But yeah, that's the plan for right now, cause sadly, I can't even install the damn camera arms. Bro, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, bro. This thing looks so dang good, and I can't even like, I can't even let like anybody else see it. Only I can see it because I can't even drive it, cause it's too loose. All right, guys. So brand new day today. We're gonna figure out what's making that clicking noise, and I'm just driving regular and braking on my driver's side. I'm pretty sure it's my end link because I had that issue on a passenger side before and I, all I did was put some red Loctite and it was good to go. So hopefully I could just do the same here with some blue Loctite and it doesn't cause any issues. Well, it doesn't keep making the clicking noise because I ain't gonna lie, that thing is really freaking loud. But um, this should literally be like the most easiest thing ever. Just gotta pop off the wheel and uh, tie in the end link and then go for a little quick drive and see if it does the noise again. So yeah, let's get it going. All right, guys, so we're driving now, and it's still making a clunky noise. <sighs> I'm gonna try to get the noise to come out more. I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera. crazy for real for real well I guess the good part is that I did upload the tune from Yash and uh, it's a new reflash on E85 because I do have like a good percentage of E85 they find some decent gas stations in uh, Flo South Florida so uh, he sent me a little reflash this is my second reflash and bro I can't wait to do a pull. I can't wait to do a pull because the first reflash that he sent me when I was on E78 I felt like the car was trying to kill me well not kill me but Bro, the car, it was it was pulling, it was moving. So now we're gonna see how it feels on the second reflash. He said I'm making really good mid-range torque. So uh, yeah, let's go on the highway. Well first, I gotta go get some E, cause I'm about to be on E. So yeah, man, we're gonna head up to the gas station. That's like, not even that far. It's like less than a mile away from here. And uh, go put Dusty on some E85. Switched over to the GoPro because it's gonna be way, way easier for me to show you guys this pool I'm about to do. Um, second revision. Gotta see how this thing feeling on this new E85 tune, boy. Oh, I didn't even mean to downshift. Pause this Evan Shanks video. Do you guys watch Evan Shanks, or am I the only one? I feel like everybody hates him for some reason, but he got some good ass videos. But yeah, man. Um, from the last clip, I sent y'all my data log and stuff. Everything, everything turned out great. And Dusty is now moving. Well, she's she's always been kind of quick and fast to me, but now like the, the torque response is like instant. She feels so torquey. Also, um, I think. 
I was talking about a clicking, a clicking noise in this video. I got that clicking noise uh, all like sorted out, but I'm not gonna tell you guys how, cause that's gonna be in the next video. But yeah, man. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram on underscore got the soda, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. I got some giveaways that I'm gonna be doing. Um, if you guys are interested in a LED uh, fog lights. Um, make sure you guys go watch the next video or the video after that. I don't know when I'm gonna announce it, but I am gonna be doing a giveaway. So yeah, man, your boy is out. Peace.